During the pandemic, driver's tests around the country got put on hold. Now they are starting to be offered once again, but in a different way to avoid the spread of the virus. We spoke with SGI on the new rules put in place for road tests in Saskatchewan. I'm joined here with Jennifer Selly, and she is with Media Relations with SGI. Now, how are driver's tests now operating with new COVID restrictions? Right now, the way that Saskatchewan is doing our road tests is our driver examiners will actually follow in a trail vehicle. The applicants will be in another vehicle with their supervising driver. The applicants must bring a cell phone with them, and the examiner will actually give them directions via cell phone Bluetooth. Um, SGI will also provide a dash cam that will record what's happening in the vehicle as well as what's happening outside the windshield. Once the exam is done, the examiner will actually look back at that footage and mark the exam based on that footage and what they saw during the exam. And they'll contact the applicant within one business day about the results of their exam. And has, how has the demand for driver's tests been since being able to start up again? Um, the demand has been quite high. We were not able to operate for a few weeks and then when we did start up again there were some restrictions in place, uh, some capacity limits just due to equipment. Not all of our locations were open for a while. As well the exam does take about an hour and a half now compared to half an hour before. Um, so right now people can expect to wait about two to ten weeks to um, do their exam. Some locations are longer than others. Some locations actually have wait times comparable to other years. And would you say, was it difficult to try and bring back these tests after bringing in new restrictions and regulations for what you can do? There were a number of obstacles. Like I mentioned, we did have to get in that new equipment. Uh, we have hired more staff um, and staff working longer hours to get through the backlog of road tests. Um, but Saskatchewan is actually the first province to start road tests of any kind and the first province to um, start road tests across the board for the general public. And so uh, we're pretty proud of that and happy that we're able to serve our customers during this time. Has there been <laughs> any changes to driver's training at all? Um, SGI actually works with a number of independent driver trainers in the province and so they are permitted to continue driver training and they may have some of their own safety protocols just depending on what they think is necessary. And when someone is booking a road test, do they have to fill out a questionnaire regarding their health and what has happened during the pandemic? Um, so if someone was wanting to do a road test, um, if they're not feeling well, they wouldn't be permitted to um, do the road test on that date. The process for booking the road test right now is online. So what people need to do is they actually need to first make sure that they're eligible for the road test that they're wanting to do. And then they can either call in or go to a motor license issuer and they'll get a road test receipt. Once they have that receipt, they can go onto SGI's website and we have a road test um, appointment request form. Once they send in that form, they'll be contacted by SGI about booking their appointment. Just a heads up for people that because of the longer hours that SGI staff are working, that call might come on the weekend, it might come in the evening, um, just it might come outside of regular hours. And are all driver's tests available at this time? Yes, as of June 25th, um, all driver's tests are available for all classes and for all motorcycle endorsements as well. SGI is appreciating our customers' patience during this time as we try and get through all of these road tests. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us, Jennifer. Yeah, thank you very much. This was good.